y'all it's Jess welcome back for another video so today I'm gonna to be doing some cleanup y'all we had a really bad mini tornado come through here yesterday golf ball size hail crazy wind crazy rain like it has been monsooning here for the past two days so definitely have some cleanup I need to do I'm gonna take a walk around the garden assess what damage has been done I don't think it's too bad but I just definitely need to do some cleanup y'all so I also have some mulching that I need to do as well I've only mulched two of my beds y'all know I have like 12 so we're gonna get to the mulching today it is quite chilly the temperatures have dropped it is like 46 degrees out here so yeah I'd like to go ahead and mulch while it's cool instead of when it's hot if that makes sense so yeah y'all I really enjoy watching garden cleanup videos so I figured this would be a nice just relaxing video for you guys to enjoy. I'm gonna do a walk around my garden just to assess the damage and do a little bit of cleanup today. And then I also want to get the rest of my mulch down while it's cool out. It is freezing outside actually right now. You guys can see it's still super windy. It is 46 degrees outside. So we're supposed to get into the low 40s tonight, um, high 30s. So I think what I'm gonna do is all these plants that keep falling over, pick this up several times. Um, I'm just going to move them all into the garage tonight until tomorrow when it gets nice and sunny. So as you can see up front already, my hosta has been shredded from all of the hail. Like, look at this, y'all. I'm so sad. The leaves were so pretty. I literally just posted a picture of how nice it was looking and then everything just got shredded. Like, tons of hail. The hail was like the size of golf balls. I thought it was, I was driving in it actually and I thought it was gonna break my window shield coming down so hard. So, got some damage on my hostas. Same thing with my little autumn frost here. Some of the leaves are ripped. So, so sad, but I know this will still push out some new leaves throughout the rest of the season. We're still early. My coleus also took a beating. So yeah, not too, too bad up here. Just some of my leaves got damaged and then a lot of my mulch has washed away, so I need to Remulch that area there. I do, oh my goodness, you guys. My hydrangeas and this tree were all down here in my neighbor's yard. By the way, look at how my grass is starting to fill in. So proud of that. So yeah, I think this is just gonna come in to the garage tonight. Oh, my begonia is coming back, you guys, for a third season. These are supposed to be annual houseplant begonias and they've been coming back. Some of my mulch has washed out of my bed into the grass. Looks like a few of my blooms took a beating as well. My dahlia blooms are shredded. Same thing on my Super Tunier Bordeaux here. Nice. The only good thing about this is it's happened so early in the season that they have plenty of time to flush out with new growth and bloom. So I'm not worried about that, but it's just kind of disheartening. And then these over here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh no. Look at that. Oh no. <sighs> so I'm definitely gonna move these into the garage. These are two alocasia plants that I picked up a couple days ago as replacements. So I had two of these on my patio last year. I forgot to overwinter the bulbs in the garage, so they actually rotted. So I had picked up these two to replace them. And Leaves. Oh, I'm so sorry about the wind, but y'all, this is so sad. I'm still going to plant them because as you can see, it's still pushing out new growth. So I think they'll be fine throughout the season. It's just so, so sad. So these definitely will be going into the garage. Of course, my hibiscus is blown over. This is a banana that I got on clearance. Definitely will move that in as well. Just a lot of shredded leaf damage from this hail. Let's go see what the backyard's looking like. So my shade garden doesn't look too bad. Just a little bit of damage on my hostas from the hail. Definitely still need to mulch this bed and I need to cut my grass. I know y'all, it looks crazy. But not too bad over here, yes. Uh, so it looks like these hostas did okay and this one is starting to come back. My hydrangeas had not leafed out too much. Canna's looking pretty good. This hosta took a little bit of a beating, but it'll be okay. This one gets huge, you guys. It'll fill up this entire circle area. My other can is doing... Oh, ooh, I got a bloom already. Oh, but it got damaged, it looks like. Oh, that's so sad. 
I want to got a broken leaf down here. Looks like I just have to cut that back. Okay, and then my rhododendron, you guys just saw I transplanted this one. All of the blooms got knocked off, but the leaves have perked back up some, so I think it'll still be happy in this spot. Here's what the backyard is looking like, you guys. Looks like my drain did its job. I had a little bit of puddling around here, but it's taking care of that puddle, so I'm happy with that. Woohoo! I did notice some puddling. Oh, I can't remember if it was over here or over here. I did take some footage, so I think I'm going to add a second drain over in one of these areas and just connect it to this one because there was a, quite a big puddle over there, but y'all, it's dried out, so <laughs> we might be okay. Um, I did have to... Oh. I'm going to have to straighten that arborvitae. It's leaning a little bit there. And, yeah, this one down here, y'all, has fallen back over again. So I came out here in a mad dash to try and save it. And there was a ton of water down in this hole. So I'm guessing it just kind of pushed the tree out. And, yeah, there's still a lot of water down there. So I'm going to have to do something to fix that hole and replant this tree just so that it's not sitting in water and root rot. So let me take you out for now. Are you gonna stay up? Oh boy, please stay. Yeah, that's a mess you guys. So I'm gonna have to do something to fix the puddling down in that hole. I can't believe it completely <laughs> uprooted itself. That's crazy. More knocked over trees. This is a peach tree that I had picked up. That I plan on planting eventually and okay so the peach tree looks pretty good not too much damage oh oh no I do have a broken branch here I wonder if I can just kind of brace that together Ooh, we'll see but yeah other than that not too much repair work I mean I really haven't done anything back here so it still looks crazy I do have a couple of fallen branches out of the tree that were dead that I just need to toss over the fence Topiary is still standing, waiting to be planted. An update on my side, y'all. Check this out. It's getting tall. It needs to be mowed, but I'm going to leave it for another couple of weeks before I mow it. But it has already rooted in, you guys. I've picked up a couple pieces and relocated them just because I really don't want to have grass in front of my gateway. So I think I'm actually going to end up moving all of this and filling in some areas. I'm not sure, but I moved a couple pieces that were back in that corner up here to the front and they were already rooting in so I'm excited that this took the way that it was supposed to and also the grass seed that I put down back there is starting to fill in as well which I actually moved some of the grass removed some of the grass seed here in the center because I actually decided I want all of this to be garden bed but I just wanted something to come up for erosion purposes and it's doing its job I don't have that big crater forming so I'm happy nothing's washing away so yeah, y'all, not too much repair work up here on the patio area. I know everything looks crazy just because I have not done anything at all up here. There's weeds growing all in the beds. Um, all of the plants up here that are in the front will be dug up and relocating to Rehab Row. Some of them my neighbor will be taking. I've actually dug out a couple already right here um, that my other neighbor has taken. So all of this area will be removed and replanted because I am extending my patio out so that's why I haven't touched anything back here it's just a lot of work in progress so yeah y'all it's not too too bad I mean it could have been a whole lot worse with the amount of hail that we received but I'm just glad it's it's still early on in the season and things can recover so I am going to get to mulching I'd rather go ahead and mulch while it's cold out versus being hot and sweaty so let's go mulch do 
just a little bit of maintenance in this area. This is where they had to install my gate for my fence. So they actually ended up having to dig up a few of my pavers, which are those two pieces there. Um, so I put down a temporary paver there. That one's not cemented just to see how it would curve. I think I'm okay with the curve. I'm just going to keep it going upward, but I do need to move my liriope. I did also cut my drip line so that I can move that over just a little bit as well. I'm going to lay down some landscape fabric and then mulch over it. y'all so this bed is finished I still need to go get some pavers to finish this little corner piece over here just like I do on the other end but boy does that look so much better I just love mulching you guys it's literally like putting mascara on a finished makeup look it is the finishing touch to a perfect garden bed what I ended up picking up lots of leaves and just a few branches not too bad but it looks a whole lot better so I definitely need to address this area here you guys I have some roots that are exposed all of the mulch has completely washed away from this area and it just went out into the street and down the sewer drain so it's kind of all piled up <laughs> around here so I think what I'm going to do is actually use this as an opportunity to reset these pavers as well. I don't think I'm going to do that back side because I'm also considering continuing my wall down this way. Haven't really decided yet, but I definitely want to address this crack. I did these pavers five years ago and they have definitely settled. Um, so I need to realign them, get them nice and even back with my driveway and clean out these weeds.
y'all. Pavers are reset nice and flush along the driveway and they look so much better. So I still have to do this back side. This is the difference between not done and done. Not done, done. Oh, it's so much better. You guys, cleanup just makes my soul happy. So I decided that I am going to continue my little wall that I did a couple years ago down this side just to help hold the mulch in and also my grass clippings out. So yeah, I will do that another day. you guys so I got my barberry bed all mulched and cut back the shrubs look a little bit better I left these two barberries here kind of wild looking just because I actually like that look my abelias y'all I'm not the best at trimming but I did the best that I can <laughs> but just a little bit about my little um, Japanese maple here this is my Anaba Shadar that I got on clearance a couple years ago and unfortunately this winter the trash guy broke all of the limbs off of this side of the tree so i was really considering digging it out and replacing it with something else but for now i'm going to enjoy the color got done with the amount of bags that I had I just ran out it got me about halfway done it stops here so I still have this area left to weed and mulch which hopefully I can get to in the next couple of weeks I know they will be having another mulch sale for Memorial Day coming up so definitely will be catching that but you guys I just love the look of mulch I know I keep saying that but it just looks so neat and tidy. I cannot wait to see this shade garden fill in. I still have tons of areas that I can plant up. But again, this hosta, like a lot of these plants get really big and fill in the space. So just cannot wait for my little hydrangeas to beef up and fill up this whole wall. It's going to be so gorgeous. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope it was relaxing and enjoyable for you. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.